when we went wild. Nancy and Jake were farmers. They plowed their fields and planted crops. They milked their cows and fed their pigs. They did what all good farmers do. They sprayed chemicals on the crops to help them grow, sprayed more chemicals to kill the insects that might eat the crops, and even more chemicals to kill the weeds and thistles that grew in, in between. They bought big, expensive machines to help them spray and harvest the crops and milk the cows. The machines looked like something from a space station. But even though they tried to do everything right, the pigs looked sad. The cows looked sad. Even the trees looked sad. No flowers grew, no bees buzzed, and when it rained, all the animals had to stay inside as the fields turned to sticky, studgy, stodgy mud. When the bills for all the chemicals and the big expensive machines came in, Jake and Nancy looked sad too. I don't know how we're going to pay these, Jake said. One day, among the bills, a glossy leaflet arrived. It was for a wild animal safari in Africa. The animals and the tourists looked like they were having a lovely time, but an expensive holiday was beyond Jake and Nancy's wildest dreams. But then Nancy had an idea. If we can't go to the wilderness, let's bring it here. Let's go wild. So they sold the big shiny machines and they sold the metal drums full of chemicals. And with the money, they paid their bills. And then they waited. It didn't take long for things to change. With the chemicals gone, wildflowers sprang up and bees, butterflies and beetles hummed and buzzed in the air. Without the constant ploughing, the land didn't turn to mud. Messy tangles of brambles and wild roses grew and birds made their nests among the thorns. Even nightingales that had flown all the way from Africa returned to sing their burbling song. The cows and the pigs thought it was the best thing ever. The cows loved nibbling the tasty leaves from the bushes. The pigs plunged into ponds and got fat, gorging on worms and acorns. They didn't miss their shed one bit. Nancy and Jake were so happy, they thought everyone would be happy too but their neighbours were not pleased at all. Look at the mess they've made. It's nothing but brambles and weeds. They've spoilt our view. It's so noisy. The birds keep me awake at night. They wrote angry letters to the local newspaper. Nancy and Jake were really worried. They might be forced to use chemicals again. The wildflowers, the bees, the butterflies and the birds would all disappear and the cows and pigs would go back into their sheds and be sad. They wondered what to do. Then a terrible storm blew in. It began to rain and rain and rain. All across the country, rivers burst their banks, people's homes were flooded and cars and motorbikes bobbed downstream. In a panic, the neighbors built walls of sandbags around their homes as they prepared for the floods to reach them. But the flood never came. The rain stopped and the farm and the village looked like nothing had ever happened. All the new trees and flowers on the farm had drunk up the rain. The unplowed soil had soaked in the water like a sponge and protected the houses around the farm. The neighbors scratched their heads. Perhaps going wild is a good thing after all, they thought. They began to enjoy the bird song and the insects buzzing, and they laughed at the pigs splashing around in the ponds. They stopped using chemicals in their gardens to kill the insects and weeds, and stopped mowing their lawns all the time. They let the grass grow and stopped trimming the hedges back to the bone. They looked around at the trees and hedges bursting into life. What were we thinking, they said. Let's all go wild. <laughs>